Hello everyone, this is Dr. Deepak Kumar. In this video, you will get to know renal vein thrombosis is common on which side and why. Before we go there, let me begin this video with some questions to you. Can you tell me which side aorta lies and which side inferior vena cava lies? Yes, inferior vena cava lies on the right side and aorta lies on the left side relate in relationship to each other. Inferior vena cava takes the blood towards the right heart and aorta takes the blood away from the heart from the left heart. With this background, let us discuss which side the renal venous thrombosis is common. Now that you know that inferior vena cava is on the right side and aorta is on the left side, so the left kidney is closer to aorta and away from inferior vena cava. Same way, the right kidney is closer to inferior vena cava and away from aorta. So logically, the vein that is longer is the left renal vein, which traverses from inferior vena cava to left kidney. Comparatively, the right renal vein is shorter. Now, this gives one of the answer for why renal vein thrombosis is common on the left side, as the course of the renal vein is longer on the left side. Apart from this, there is one more reason. This first reason was supported by logic. The second reason is supported by knowledge and literature evidence. On the left side, the venous network is very extensive. Like uh, the way we remember, it's not like there is one kidney and one vein shoots inside the organ. The vein, before it uh, reaches near the hilum, there are, it, uh, it is um, giving off many tributaries and forms an extensive network, which gives a um, environment where thrombosis can happen more commonly. So this will give you an answer why renal vein thrombosis is more common on the left side. To know which side renal artery thrombosis is common, watch another video in the same YouTube channel. Thank you.